Okay, gotta do some pill taking. Good morning, pill. Good morning. Good morning. In New York, what's the little left of five? I want to get this done because I like first light. First light is going to be about five, five thirty something like that. No, this is um. Okay, I'm at my brother's house in uh, in, uh, in Harlem, Harlem, USA, and he has this little. I mean, he's got this garlic and I think something and the thing the, the, the little thingy that's supposed to be the morning thing. So I pinched a little bit of it. You know, he got it in a big old jar. I just put, took a little bit of it, right? I'll tell him later because you know, like that. I say, hey, yo, I do got come on, buddy. Let me. Do that. He'll say, okay. Oh, it's very hot. Well, yeah, I'm gonna do. Uh, this is a uh, hold on, hold on a second. I gotta turn the air conditioner off. Oof. Oh boy, I usually don't do air conditioning. Oh, so this. This is our Sunday sermon. Oop, Sunday sermon series. Uh, but it's very hot in New York. It's like 80 degrees. It's like, I don't know. It feels like, it feels like I'm more than 80 and it's humid in New York, right? Oh, for you, sorry. Uh, that's like, I don't know, like 27 degrees Celsius? That hot. <laughs> it's 25 Celsius down in, in the East of Cape. I'm going like, ah, like that. What well, I don't feel like that. But anyway. Um, but, oh, sorry. Let, let, let us start this thing. Uh, this is Sunday series, Sunday sermons, uh, I should say revised, or uh, Continued, um, and Sunday sermon will be cause for uh, for my purposes, and also uh, down at the uh, uh, the uh, Acolytes uh, Liberation House, that that Lhote House down in in Dimbasa. Uh, this is this is what we do. Uh, but we read from uh, this is our our, our scripture. Um, this is uh, the United Independent Compensatory Code System concept. It's a uh, it's a compensatory counter racist code by Mr. Neely Fuller Jr. This what now we I'm using I'm reading from the 2016 revised and expanded edition. Um, okay, now 2016. It's a textbook work for for thought, speech, and or action for victims of racism, which Mr. Neely Fuller uh, you know says is white supremacy. Uh, now down down in Dumbazo, down in the Lakota House, uh, we have the original. I mean the original, original eighty four edition, the big thing, and I, I found. No way. When we get back down there, you'll see it. Okay. Um, so what we do every Sunday, um, since it's our scripture, we pick a thingy here, and I, I, I pre pick it. You know, when I do the the Gullah reason, I just go there, but I pre pick it. So I pre pick this one, and um, uh, what we're gonna read is uh, uh, this is gonna be uh, on page uh, oh area one. Of, act, of activities that's be economics and there are um, basically well basically there are nine areas of activity and um, they have all well, area one that we're going to read from right now is the economics then you have education right entertainment labor law uh politics that's people he defines it as people relations um religion sex and war counter war now mr nearly full junior when he, he's on every tuesday you know, well, I guess catch him on you. Well, he's on every Tuesday with Mr. Bobby, and uh, they don't deal with the war counter war for obvious reason. The acolytes of liberation, we do deal with that, but not right now. Uh, so this Sunday, I'm going to do from every act from from um, the first area of act of human activity, which is economics, and uh, page ninety four, and right from the top up there. Is there something for that? Yeah, this is okay uh, from the top. Again, this is the uh, 2016 edition. Revised and expanded. Question, what rituals, that's in quotes, should be produced and preserved? Good question. Oh, I'm saying it's a good question. Let's, let's see what his answer is. Only those rituals which at the time that they are enacted help to, this is important, to guarantee that no person is mistreated and guarantee that the person who needs help the most gets the most constructive help. No so-called special day 
should be set aside for those rituals. What needs doing should be done at the time it needs doing in order to produce the most constructive results. Okay. Now, he goes on to say um, in this same answer, right? When someone asks you to participate in any activity, celebration, event, gathering, etc., ask him or her uh, this question. What would be the constructive result of my participation? Well, good question. I think I'm about to go because I was hanging out with uh, with Percy Lee yesterday. You know, he sells uh, stuff on 125th Street right there by the state office building. And today is is Bronx Day for old timers up there, Katona Park or up there in the Bronx. And what's the constructive thing? Blah, blah, blah. Well, here's the thing, right? You can go with Mr. New. Look, 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 look. You can do that, right? But I have a situation, right? And then I travel the planet. I'm, a, I'm what's called a, a, a witness traveler. I witness things, and I travel and I witness things, right? And and they go through, they go, go through me, and I and I and I make that. But I make adjustments to the things that I witness. Uh, sometimes I do it, but that that's what it is. So in this sense, I violated Mr. Neely for the Junior's uh, thingy. Well, violated. He just gives suggestions. This is a, a workbook, uh, a textbook for. Uh, uh, thought, speech, and action. So this, just like that. So I'm going up there. I'm going to the Bronx. Yes, where I was made. I was made in the Bronx. Yeah, a low time, 72 years ago, matter of fact. Okay, so that's that. But now I, 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 I put out this, I got this other section here uh, on uh, uh, politics, people, relationship. Uh, and I, I don't know why I pulled out. Uh, Oh, uh, I pulled this out because I have to st I'm starting my day right now. This is the area six again. It's politics, people, relationships. And this is 173. Uh, well, you know, it's a Sunday sermon. You know how you know how we do. We go, you know, you know, we do typical heights and not turn it just to, 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 you know, this, you know, the scripture book. And so, you know, you go back to ding, 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 you see what you do. Uh, but I looked at this part. Um, question, how should a person try to start his or her day? Well, see, I'm starting my day right now. You see, I take, I take the prescribed, you know, because I'm in the VA system pills, and I got this thing from, that I use for my for my brother. And hopefully, because I'm I'm going to be doing the Yankee protocol, uh, I won't be doing the pills sooner or later. We'll see what happens with that. Um, so how do you start the end? Oh, okay. And I also start my day since I'm up here in Harlem, and it's not raining. You see, it doesn't rain in the morning. I walk over to my healing tree, the tree that I use for my for my healing over there. Uh, on the west side, I'm on the east side right now. I gotta walk over to the west side. Take about mm, half hour, forty, whatever. Cause I like to walk. Okay, that's how I start my day. Uh, when I'm up here, when I'm in different realities, I start it differently. Okay, let's just start one day. Answer by minimizing conflict. Try to start every day thoughtfully and pleasantly. Oh, I'm pleasant, thoughtful. Don't talk to you guys. I'm thoughtful. Uh, Wait, wait, wait. Pleasantly. Try to start every morning as quietly as possible. I do. S speak softly. Uh, am I speaking softly to you? But I, I, I you know, I, I usually wake up about four o'clock. I woke up, you know, I took a, took a wash. And I was just, just chill. Chill. Ain't, no, ain't nobody up at four o'clock in the morning, believe me, except me. And usually I just lay there and chill. Right? But, now I'm in New York and I'm on the East Coast and the sun rises soon. You know, I like to catch first light. I, I just violate my thing and I get up. Well, I just I start at four. Usually I sort of, the lady sort of do a little meditation and stuff like that until you know until the sun comes up. That's when I'm, I don't know. It's too confusing for you. Okay. Uh, it's possible. Speak softly. Say good morning to people, uh, but try not to say anything else unless it is necessary. Then it gives an explanation. It is correct for every person to try to start each day in a manner that is quiet, thoughtful, considerate, and constructively productive. Okay. It is correct for every person to interact with others in a manner that will uh, best help to produce civilized, a civilized world. I'm going to stop right there. This is interesting because I, when I was in, I'm a 24-hour I'm a, I'm a person, you know, but I really relish the mornings, right? 
And one of the best times of my life was when I was down in Delray Beach, Florida. And I would get up about 4 o'clock or 4.30 and I start walking to the, to the to the beach. I was by the, you know that tennis court, that famous tennis court, like Chrissy Evans and people, I, I live close to that, over the train tracks, close to, anyway. So it take, take, takes a while, I walk, 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 walk through downtown, then I walk to the beach before first light and I would do my prayer, prayer and meditation and, and uh, first light come up. And then I do exercise and da da da, and I walk back. Da, da, da. So it was a wonderful time in my life, right? And so, in a weird sort of way, uh, that's what I like. That's what I like. So that's what I do. Anyway, so uh, that's it for for this Sunday sermon from our text. Our text for the boy. I bet I talk loud on this morning. I can, uh, uh, anyway, uh, I being uh, me, T from the Pattersons. Taking the trench to bed, letting you know what I only suspect.